I'll do that. I'll put it there and mine it for them as well. Just put a good word in for me. <laughs> I definitely will. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. No, I only get to your face. I'm gonna do it a little bit more like this so that I get I get your I get right. this over here. Yeah. And I'm fine there. I'm in the picture there, so that's no problem. Okay. And it actually looks nice. Yeah, I was up till 4 a.m. finishing the, the rabbit guy there. And I thought, oh, I'll just set them up in case you want to use them as a background. They finished already? That can't be true. Oh so the, the last thing I want to do is I just want to give you a, the mic. Oh, yeah, my God. Little minis. That wow. way the sound comes through nicely, right? Oh, my right? God, that's amazing. So if you just, all you have to do is check it on you. Um, Where do I put that? You can put it uh, right here. Or? Here's okay. Yeah, that's where I'm going to put mine actually. Okay. Where do you get all this stuff? Where else? Amazon. Oh. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> this is the lights. The lights have turned blue. Yeah. This is green. We're green. We're good to go. We're good. We're good okay. to go. Ty, you guys sit down. Come here. So. Come sit down. Yeah, he's going to settle down right in front here would be nice, eh? Yeah. Would be, that be nice. Sit down. Hold on. Let sit. me just get my, my teeth out of the way. <laughs> there you go. Lie down. Down. Lie down. Okay. Try. Okay, good. <laughs> sit, bud. Hey, come here. Sit. Okay, Hi. we'll just, we'll just, we'll just, it's okay. It's okay? Yeah, yeah he'll All settle right. down. They, they, they just, yeah. He down. will for sure. Yeah, you'll just settle As long down. as you're okay. Some people get a bit... I'm no, I know. Much, I know. But, uh... Well, if I was dressed in nice threads, I'd say, "Hey, get away from me!" But oh no, he doesn't good. shed. Actually, he doesn't shed. This is um actually this is from another dog that visited earlier this morning. Mm. That's one thing that's kind of cool about the doodles. Yeah. Is they don't shed. They don't shed. Yeah. No. So Ambrison, thank you so much for um, inviting me into your artistic world. You're so very, welcome. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you as well. And I find your art quite unique and fascinating. <laughs> and I want to know, um, how did you get into this? Like, yeah. what? Because it's quite unique. Is it? Yes. Mm. Um, I have no idea how I got into it. I think I started by copying fairy tale characters. Okay. Started about maybe 20 years ago. Um, and I really got into Alice in Wonderland characters. So I did a whole show yeah. for the Montreal Children's Hospital. Okay. And I did all, all of the Alice in Wonderland characters in um, sculpture form. I, uh, I work mostly in paper, pulp paper sculpture. And um, Was it through drawing or that you came across that? Uh, through sculpture? How, how did I come across sculpture? Or? Well, yeah, because you have like design. It's design with paper. Mm -hmm. How, what's the process that you that so you the, all of the um, base is uh, newspaper okay so newspaper and tape basically shapes it newspaper masking tape so kudos out there for the gazette and all the other papers <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah I have a nice big uh, stash every day I get it in my <laughs> and um, then uh, like where you see it's kind of rough in the yes. body yes that's some um, pulp paper so you buy um, pulp paper that's mixed with a little bit of concrete. Is is that that's not papier papier mache, is it? Well, I mean, it's a modern form. Of, it is. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's like a modern form, but it's using it in a sculptural way. He just goobered on me. He did. <laughs> he just goobered on I'm me. I'm so sorry. Do you have a? Pay? I'm gonna get a Scott. Is that a Scott towel over there? You don't have to worry about this because I edit it and stuff. Oh, so. I'm so yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yes, there's towel there. Can you grab a piece and I'll wipe his face? Okay. Yeah. Come here, Kai. <laughs> it's because he had that treat. Yeah. I'm so yeah. sorry. Come, come. come. You wipe your face. Oh. Okay. There you go. Yes, you're all wet. You're all wet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll just put it here. Thank you for being so gracious about it. No problem. <laughs> okay. Sit down. Come sit down. No, nope. you're going to sit down. You're going to sit down and you stay down. That's it. I think, yeah, that's not good. 
There you go. You just that's okay. it. Does he um, know how to lie down? Yeah, down. He's a little stubborn about it. Down. There's Come much, on. There's too much happening. Down. There. Okay. Down. Down. Ah, you can sit there. Come on. Come on. You show him how good you are. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> good boy. Yeah. Okay. He likes being by the guest. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's um, it's a kind of a modern form of happy mache, and then. This part where it's smooth is paper clay. So it's clay made out of paper, but it's, um, it looks just like clay and it feels, it works just like clay, but it dries super light like paper. Hmm. So that's usually what I do. And so that's the difference between, this is the paper clay here. And yes. this, this here is more the-, the Yeah, the rough part the rough is part. the pulp paper. The pulp paper. Yeah, and sometimes I, I leave it rough. It depends, like I'll usually, I'll usually highlight the face and the feet. It's usually what I do. And the boots? Um, paper clay. So this is um, a different process. I got into this a few years ago. This is um, actually, a, you know those porcelain dolls with the fancy dresses? Yes, That's what this they is. freak me out. <laughs> I have a whole drawer of them. Not good. <laughs> do not open that. <laughs> I don't. I, I think people would freak out if they saw my drawer. So I just obviously strip the the, you use um, the the dolls to make to create this. Yeah. So I use them as a an armature. So usually they're very well made. Like I don't touch the body. This mm -hmm. is just what they are underneath the clothing. Oh, okay. So and then the the head is the the porcelain underneath, and I will use it as an armature. Yeah. And I put paper clay on top of it. Same with the hands and the feet. So it's that it's that porcelain clay underneath, and then I will adhere paper clay on top and create my own hands and feet and, and head. And you mentioned Alice in Wonderland. Um, are all your characters from that? Is that where you're getting? No, I, it, I I'm kind of influenced by it. So at first I was doing a lot of Alice in Wonderland type stuff, mm -hmm. uh, children's fairy tale things. I don't know why I was drawn to that. And then mm -hmm. about maybe. 12 years ago, I decided to try and figure out what, what is my own creative voice? Mm. So I started to explore like, what characters do I want to create? So I just kind of went for it. And I tend to do a lot of anthropomorphic type characters. So the, the animal head with the human body, mm -hmm. that seems to be where I go. And mm -hmm. so I've just been doing that now. So and, and what I do with the drawings is those are my studies. So I like to study the animals and I'll, I'll draw them in great detail. These are your drawings here. Yeah. So Beautiful. these and the pig and I oh. have a lot of um, ink drawings and pencil drawings just to study. Really nice. So that when I do them in this form, I know the anatomy of the animal and I know, you know, what, what makes sense mm -hmm. with the human body, but I love the study of them. I find that very uh, fun to get into and dive into. Do you do the same thing with um, like botany, like botany type of design or, or is it strictly towards animals? I mean, it's funny that you said that because I do have a landscape architecture degree and I do, mm. I, I used to do a lot of drawings of, of um i guess botany and fruit and i seem to like pumpkins for some reason <laughs> so i just kind of go with what wants to get expressed through me and i just allow it to happen and mm. it's it's sometimes it's not easy to do that because my first time i showed mm -hmm. um people were terrified of my work and and it terrified me and so some people get very scared when they see my work, and then some people love it. I, I see, I see, I see these characters like in a movie, right? You know, like uh, each one has his own character and personality and name, yeah. and you know, one generation and families and whatever, and then <laughs> <Yeah>. there's trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they each come with their own story, and yeah. the story kind of develops as as I make them. Um, it just kind of evolves. So yeah. I usually start not knowing what I'm creating. I'll just start a piece and just let it kind of come through me and 
see what happens. So when you're going to do a piece, is it is it basically, um, I just feel like getting into the studio and start start making something? Or do you have something already in mind that says, this is what I want to make? Or, or does it play out? It just plays out. Plays out. I never have anything in mind. Yeah, okay. Never. I mean, sometimes I look around and see, you know, try to look at other artists. There are some other artists that I like. and But I, I tend to put that away. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it does come out through my work. Sometimes it's based on what do I have in my studio, what mm -hmm. materials. Like, mm -hmm. right now, as you can see, I have a lot of fox fur. So I'm using a lot of the... The fox fur. Okay. That's the the white fur. Yes. Um, like the the monkey there. That's part of that fox fur. Oh, I like that monkey. <laughs> yeah, I, I know he's. Is that ever cool? Yeah, he's spectacular. I love him. Um, so a lot of it is that, like, you just kind of get on a train of thought, you know, mm -hmm. with um. It's like a tree boy there. Yeah, that's yeah. like branches coming out. That's right. Yeah. Well, they're not. They're paper clay but yeah they're made to look like branches yeah for mm -hmm. sure no and, yeah i mean yeah uh -huh. as opposed to antlers i guess right yeah, yeah. exactly That's and then the stage. the little um uh what is that called um oh god oh this guy animal. here a possum? is it a possum po um porcupine porky, no oh, it's a porcupine no no what's the little um the cute little ones that we see a lot now i thought it was a possum I don't know if it's called a possum or anyway. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. so so that's what I do sometimes yeah, as well. It's cute. So it's an old um, shoe brush. Oh, uh, that's why there's a bit of a hump on the back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I so get it. I always want oh, to wow. turn it into um, a little animal. Yeah, you can you can pull it out. It's um. You're gonna pull it out. They're yeah. they're not too breakable. Little, they're pretty durable. Ones. And what camera can pick that up? Yeah, so Here's I use the um, shoe brush. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got a little punky and, style here. <laughs> that's right. And that's the cool. wheels, I use a lot of those. Yeah, wheels. Um, you know the old furniture wheels. Oh yes, yeah. yes, yeah. My God, yeah. yeah. Where do you find all this stuff? Um, antique stores. Yeah. Um, flea markets. Mm-hmm. Now, I know you have one that's called the Frog Prince, but that's not it. That's this is a, no, this is a bird. Uh, the, no, I so think. those aren't mine. Those are clay. Uh -huh. And those are from um, artists um, in Quebec, in northern Quebec. Okay. I, the Frog Prince, I don't have the Frog Prince. That's, I think, an old piece okay. that I had. The Frog Prince, I think, yeah. Do you sell a lot of your art? I sell out, yeah, every yeah. show. Yeah, I have a lot of collectors. When's your next uh, show? Um, I'm doing one. I usually do one a year, so I'm doing one in July. Okay. In um, in Ontario. Okay. Yeah, and it's um, a, it's situated nicely, like just north of Kingston. Right. And so people from Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal come. Okay. And um, normally I post like you know when I'm going, and then they come and see me because I, I don't do it often. So once a year, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a lot of work. It is, and it's been uh, it's been two years now because I, I couldn't do it last year because uh, I'm also studying a degree as well as working full time. So it's like trying mm. to trying to fit it all in. You're studying a degree in what? Um, uh, science of creativity. Really? Science of creativity. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. It the, is. The title is interesting. Very cool. I'm almost done. I'll be done in May. I'll graduate in May. That's where Loyola Concordia. No, it's in New York, so okay. it's all online. Yeah. Oh, it's on like, hey, science it's, of creativity. Yeah, so it's like the, the, and I, you, I, it's funny because I learned a lot about myself doing this mm -hmm. degree. Yeah. Um, and it's all about the kind of the behavioral science of creativity and how you can foster it. Okay. In people and, um, you know, like, um, they talk a lot about nurture versus nature, what's talent, what's taught, you know, that kind yes, of thing. That's right. Which is, which why it's important for me because, um, I was never considered creative when I was growing up. You know, my parents were both artists. Mm -hmm. And so I never really thought it was something that I would be good at or do. Or So I just kind of did it on my own. What did your fun. parents do? Um, so my dad was a landscape artist and my okay. mom was a portrait artist. Oh, nice. They were very Por good. Portrait, portrait artist, yeah. That's she a... was very good, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. it's very nice. good it's amazing i think that's where i get like you know wanting to do animals in a kind of distinguished way i sort of feel like that's kind of comes from that she was also very detailed um although i don't use pastel like she did i, I do use a lot of pencil pencil and ink that's a rhino that yeah the this bull over here yeah it's a white bull okay. um, from uh china so okay. i like to look at you know different um places unique animals it's obviously a pot belly pig mm -hmm. i did do a mangalitsa pig once which is from poland and they're a cross between a sheep and a pig can you do that really no apparently you can that's that's <laughs> that's like that's you know <laughs> Inter those are two different species together. Yeah. Does that work? It, well, apparently it does. It's called a Mangalitsa pig. Wow. Quite interesting looking pig, though. So, Kai, sit down, bud. Sit down. A sheep and a pig. Yeah. And it comes out as a did, curly pig. And they did that for agricultural reasons? like for That I don't know. Or? I didn't look into it. Yeah. I was more interested in the, in the physical characteristics, right? Yeah. yeah. And then, so when I saw this, I thought, okay, that's it's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Because yeah. sometimes I do animal heads, mm -hmm. like masks and, and animal heads. Although I haven't, I might do that for the summer, do some more animal heads. I saw one, I saw a video on YouTube where you were showing off your artifacts and there was a mask or two. Um, they're not here, I don't think. Yeah, oh, I think that was when I did the Toronto Outdoor Art Show, maybe. I guess, I yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, I did it there and um, I showed it. And that was just very uh, interesting show because um, no, 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 no. Kai, come here. No. Because. <laughs> um, Where's your ball? Hmm? Come here. Here, look. <laughs> um, so I thought I. I wanted to do a really good job of animal heads and I was really, I did a lot of detailed drawings to try and, and really do a good job. So then I did this show of a lot of, I had a lot of mass and animal heads, but people thought it was a taxidermy show <laughs> or exhibit. <laughs> and I was both kind was of mortified. Too realistic. And, I mean, I, at first I was, I was kind of flattered and mortified at the same time. And then this, and I did a mangalitsa pig head. It's, mm. It was quite a big head. Yeah. And this guy came up and said, how much for the dead pig? And it just about <laughs> died. I was like, oh my God, what? That's not a dead pig, it's paper. Mm. <laughs> did he buy it? He did, he did Excellent. buy it. Yeah, yeah, he did buy it. Yeah, I, well, did, I did well. But um, I think it's just my, so now with these things, it's more, I like to, there's some aspects of it that I like to be accurate. Like I do look at, you know, a running rabbit and what does mm -hmm. it look like running? Mm -hmm. And um, I do look at like a mouse head. What would it look like? The face. Mm -hmm. But then the rest is, yeah. is a little more whimsical and fantastical. Yeah. And, and almost cartoonish, is it? A little bit. Yeah. 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 yeah for sure. I mean, obviously it's, you could say, oh, yeah, that's a sheep. That's a mouse. That's a rabbit. Right. And the eyes? The eyes? Yeah. Um, it's paper clay. Okay. Oh, you just paint on it. Yeah. I thought it was glass. No. Um, so I just paint it and uh, then I put um, a gloss varnish on it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I do that with the nails as well, usually in the, in the mouth. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Bit. But yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, what's the word? Effectual? It, it has a, an effect when you do that. No, it definitely does. It's yeah. so simple. Because <laughs> well, I, I put, um, I usually put, um, um, maybe it's simple when you, when you get to that point, but to get to that point, I don't think it's that simple. <laughs> <laughs> well, you usually put a glaze of medium on it, mm -hmm. like a, a matte medium to mm -hmm. seal. Yeah. And then where I want it to shine, I'll put a gloss medium on it. Yeah. Makes sense. But yeah. So, your next exhibits in July. Mm -hmm. uh, do you how do you promote that? I uh, just do Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's enough, right? Word of mouth too. Yeah, I it is. Yeah, and and um, sometimes what I do is if if things don't sell, there was one show where 
like maybe about 25% were left. So then I'll post it on Facebook and then it usually mm. goes because mm. of the, my followers are, I have a lot of European followers and so mm -hmm. they'll, they'll buy them and I'll ship them out there. Interesting. Yeah. Or in the U.S. I have, yeah. yeah. But, but not so much local, but it's more foreign. In some, some local. Yeah. Some yeah. local. Um, of course the currency is probably a bit stronger and, and you know, when they come to Canada, they could, the purchasing power is probably <laughs> Yeah. It's the bonus, I guess. I guess. But the shipping too, like I, I used to ship it, right? So it's mm -hmm. yeah. Um it it's um it's something. But it's it's amazing to have a people who collect, like it's amazing. Uh, it's so flattering. Because then I can keep continuing it is, yeah. to do it, right? Otherwise I'd have many things in my house that I <laughs> Be surrounded by it's individuals or or companies that buy it individuals okay. mm -hmm. yeah do you want me to show you how it gets started I could start demonstrating something for you if you want we could just yeah you don't have to actually get into it but we you could just... be easy just sit really? here and... oh yeah. yeah for sure okay i'm actually gonna start i need i want to make some little i need to make some little ones little characters so i was gonna start so i can I can do that very easily. Okay. What I could, what I'll do is I'll just. I mean, we'll have to go over there. Is that no, it? No, no, we can sit here. We can sit here and do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, I was saying I would turn things newspaper. around. Right? Okay. It's just newspaper and tape. Okay. That's sure. It. Do you need help with anything? No, no, no. I'm good. Okay. So I get these um, quite often, and so I use these. Yeah. Oh, the flyers and everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're perfect, and the paper is good because it's um, not good quality paper, so it's very light. Yeah, and very easy to form. So this is how I start everything, like you know, something like this, mm -hmm. except for the dolls. I could show you the drawer, but that might freak you out a little bit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, show me, show me. Let's you want to see the drawer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Might as well. I think everybody I, wants to see it by this time. So I don't yeah, usually show dolls. people because I know it would freak them out. Like <laughs> the cleaning lady, I tell her, don't open that drawer. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, I think, I don't know how many I have left. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, so here, okay, they're all like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm dwindled down in my. Um, what is it about dolls that's so spooky? So freaky, yeah. This one it freaks me out because it's a musical, and sometimes it goes off and it scares yeah, the heck out of me. There you go. <laughs> so the Can ones, the uh, on? yeah. So how creepy is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then sometimes it will go off here in the drawer, and yeah, it's that, like, oh god, yeah. that's so scary. Yeah. But that's what these are, is Actually. they're just stripped down and then I'll redo the head, the hands and the feet in, in paper clay. Like I'll, I'll yeah. smash them off and create my own. Well, you just knock them, you, you hammer them yeah, off. Yeah, I just hammer them hmm. off. Yeah, which is again, kind of a weird process, but. <laughs> 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 and I honestly don't know how I got started on that. <laughs> It's just something I tried one day. With the dolls, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, but they're very, very popular. Yeah. Super popular. So, yeah. So, I'll just start in the new shape. I, I create a shape um, like this. Are, mm -hmm. you, are you interested? Yes? Is it interesting? I think, yeah. <laughs> and, um, and this is what I teach in Vermont mm -hmm. um, when I go on my vacation in the summer. Um, just to show people how they can create. Now, this is this side. It's not the clay side. It is. It's everything. Okay. So it's the whole body. Okay. The whole body is like this. Okay. Yeah. But, but the clay part a bit. How do you make, like you said, it's like clay. So the, the clay part is um, a paper clay that I buy in bricks. Okay. And then I just, um, like, there's this layer is the armature. Okay. And then the pulp paper is a layer on top that strengthens it. Okay. Um, so it, um, it makes sure there's no weak spots. And then.